เอาอีกครับเดี๋ยวเอานี้ให้เลยค่ะเอาอ่อนนอถามละอ่อนเลยถ้าละอ่อนจะเอาโอเคนะละอ่อนคือคนไหนเด็กเล็กถามเด็กๆอ๋อเด็กๆเอาละแล้วปากเกลือนี่เอาเนี่ยได้เนี่ยมันมันจะมากับปลาเผาครับอ๋อการกินกับปลาเผาเออเอาลองก็ได้อันเอาปากเผาเนื้อชุ่มปลาเผาตัวหนึ่งครับผมเดี๋ยวเอานี่เลยเดี๋ยวเร่งให้เอาซุกซุกครับผมอืมเนอะ You know what in Isan traditional food is totally different from uh Chiang Rai, right? Chiang Rai, Isan they eat more sap, nah, more spicy. Yeah, yeah. He said, would we like to try the uh fry tilapia, tilapia fried in barbecue? Yeah, yeah. And then so parsley. They will eat with that eggplant. Oh, okay. Ani ma khuer ni pao pe duoi, chai ma ka? Oh, yeah. Ani mi jiao mi lai. Oh, and then have spicy sauce. They call jiao. Oh, okay. So this is a original Isan food. We going to try today, na? Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Where are we? Where Where are we? I don't even know where I am. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's okay. We are in the Lam Takong Reservoir right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Soon we eat. Lam Takong. Yes, Lam Takong, Thailand. Ko Khuen Lam Takong. Okay. Yeah, this is um very popular in Isan here. Yeah. Very big, isn't it? Look, we saw from the highway. Yeah. Huge reservoir. We're gonna walk over. Let's walk over and have a look at it. I'm gonna. Okay, would you like to eat first, or you want to go now? Well, the food will come in I'll soon. wait till the food comes. I'm just going to walk over to the bridge. Okay, okay then. All right, okay. I'll come okay. back and see you in a bit. Okay, okay. Let's go see the reservoir. So there you have it. I'm lost, Denise on. Oh, okay. Um, this is lab. Yeah, lab is an. This is some tam, na ka. This is all the vegetable they eat with lab. Darling. Okay, this is day number two of our epic tour. What started out to be just Isan, but then we ended up going to uh, Sukhothai first. Okay, sweetheart, where are we now? We've had our lunch, and now we are in? Right now we in Upper Primai, Jangwat Nakon Rasasima. Nakon Rasasima. Nakon Rasasima. Nakon Rasasima. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. And then when we, after we park our car, right, our van, yep. we have to buy a ticket yep. for the Thai people, 20 baht each. Yep. But for a young, small children like Tony and Kate's daughter, yep. it's free, but a hard time. Because of the chat for long, for more, for us, it's Eight people with ton daughter, right? Yep. We pay 120. 120 for eight people? How yep. much did I pay? For for like 100 baht. 100 for me. <laughs> oh, I feel yeah. so used and abused here. Uh, <laughs> and then this is love. They call Prasad Hin Pimai. Okay. So this is Pimai Historical Park. That's Correct. what this area Correct. is called. Okay, so we're going to go. This is one of the original Khmer temple sites uh, it's supposed to be quite similar to the uh, Angkor Wat very close we're very close actually to Cambodia here and uh, yeah so let's go check it out let's go this way please. all right look at this guys this is an amazing old site don't know where to go first look at, over here I'm gonna go over here we go this way first So I read something that this was built, it was built as a Buddhist temple, even though it was Hindu people who built it. 
So I don't really understand that, but that's what I read on Wikipedia. So it must be true. Incredible. Hey, hey, hey. There she is. Thanks for bringing me here, you know? This is so cool. You're fairly welcome. Uh, this trip, we will have fun, but so far we have a good trip, right? Love? Oh yeah, a lot of driving, but uh, well, these places are are uh, a long way from each other, so. Can't walk on the grass here, guys, so there's a bit of a route you have to take. Wow. Amazing. Let me take your picture standing in that doorway, sweetheart. Okay, let's go through here. This must have been amazing when it was all done. Hey, it was all new. I think we just better stick to the path, eh? Do you think? Or do you want to look? Go look. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we go back that way. Interesting to know what it's for or about, right? Yeah, those holes. Yes. All these holes. Must yes. have been maybe like they put bamboo, like they look about the post size. To like a bamboo post or something. Yeah, yeah there's holes in all this. Okay, let's see this here. This is amazing. You can totally see the Anchor Watt similarities. Really, it's just a smaller version. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna stop and take a picture. And you can just look around, hardly anybody here, a few people there. Oh, we missed a sign, a tour guide. Beyond, beyond the arch gateways is a courtyard with a path leading to the central door in the surrounding wall. This courtyard is rectangular and surrounded by a path. Post holes were found at intervals along the pathway during the restorations. It doesn't tell us what the post holes were for, but it must have been to hold up a roof. Yes. All these holes in the Yeah, this is called the passageway. So I wonder what these kind of things were for, eh, dear? Okay, I think um, the whole of this thing, I read in the in there. Yeah. They said because of they built the path for the walkway. Oh, okay. Did it to support the so path you see all for this? the walkway. Here's my finger on here. Here's my finger. This is all carved down here. All these stones are all carved. Right. All along there. Really interesting. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Really is. That is look like crafting. Yeah, yeah. All of that that is crafted. Yeah, all the base is all yeah. carved out. 
it's slightly been rebuilt, refurbished, because I think it was, it was like Angkor Wat. It was pretty much just covered in jungle. And they said 1917 is when they, uh, they started to excavate it and, and clean it up. But it's amazing. Look at, there's nobody here. We have this place to ourselves. Don't think you'd go to Anchor Wat and have the have it to yourself. That's that's for sure. Wow. The gallery is a long rectangular building surrounded the inner courtyard of the sanctuary. The inner walls have true windows, while the outer have false windows adorned with stone oh, balustrades known as Luk Mahat. Important evidence of the Pimai sanctuary has been found at the southern entrance of the inner gallery in the form of an inscription on a statue. Camera tend Chakata. Vimya by a local ruler named Senapai, ah, forget it, 1108. <laughs> 1108. Really? Oh my goodness. Long time ago. Like... That's 900 and some years ago. Yeah. Um... Look at this. Ah, oh, that is amazing. Detail in there. So cool. See that you turn around and look at that. It's so nice. Oh yeah, from the back side. Wow. And the place it's all surrounded by a wall all the way around. Let's go. People are we're in their selfie way here. People are coming. <laughs> you want to do over there, right? Well I think just uh, walk around and this hole was made to contain auspicious objects when the temple was constructed. The offerings consist of clouded gold leaf, eight petaled lotuses, as well as quartz and rubies. They are now displayed in the Pimai National Museum. So you can't walk in there, but that's, that's the holes they're talking about there. They used to hold all kinds of gold and rubies and everything. Oh, if they've had to uh, earthquake proof this from falling in. You want to walk down here, babe? Or do you go out that way? I don't mind. We can walk back and forth. Anyway All right, we want just to keep following the path. Down.
guess we'll walk around and get back on the trail. You really gotta watch your step if you're filming. <laughs> I know I say that a lot when I'm making these videos, but I just love this ancient architecture. Look at that carving of the pigeon. Oh, it's real. Oh, I'm hilarious. Wow. Amazing, this is how flat and tight these joints are after 900 years. They got lots of lights around here. Okay. For at probably, night, yeah. Probably looks pretty amazing at night too. Oh, yes. Love, I love the light. It's so big inside here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you see, it when really we look big, outside, we can see only this one hit now. Yeah, yeah. See my car? Oh, yeah, this is what you see from the road. I think so. Selfie time. is quite large I would give yourself about an hour and a half to do the whole thing and that's one of the other gates going out there well, I saw all this stuff sitting on the ground here I wanted to come over and have a look at it I can't really say what it's for but I would guess this is either looks like original artifacts and then they possibly use them to rebuild portions or they're just storing them here I don't know it looks like uh, they're all sorted out into sizes and stuff hey dear is that what you think I think this stuff is probably what they use when they're like re rebuilding parts oh yes all these things or maybe stuff that's fallen off I think the stuff with... is falling off from earthquakes right? yeah yeah and then when they when they rebuild yes parts they can use these Correct. And there's all these here, and there's a bunch over there too, all the way along this outer wall. That's another way out there, I believe, dear. Correct. This over here. Correct. I guess from what we read, there's a way out on the north-south, like four four exits out. Correct. From each side, one from each side. Yeah, and that way too is 
Yeah, yeah, and then the main one we came in. Yeah. So we can go over and look at this. That all that thing, the one we just talking about. Yeah. Uh, if you go to take the picture closer, yeah. they have all the number. Oh, all I see. All the number in here. I see. And then uh, Wong said each the one have all the number. Yeah. If one missing, whoever work in here need to take responsibility. Oh, I see. Because it's what they call the the old thing. Right. Like. Like antique. Yeah, really, really old. That is, uh, yeah, they don't want people stealing that stuff. No, no. The no. piece dropped off from when the earthquake. Yeah. I yeah. see. So everything, we were right. Everything, 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 yeah. Yeah. And everything's numbered. Yeah. I think I can walk up on here. Usually they have a sign that says you can't walk up and there's right. stairs. Right. Look like a step here. Now. Yeah, it's steps. Yeah. Just wanted to... No, you don't have to come up. I want to see this carvings on these stones. Very weathered, but still amazing detail on this. Imagine seeing this place in its heyday, first built or being built, the activity that would be going on here. I don't imagine they used that back in the day. Interesting how these doorways all align right through. It's like more uh, rubble, earthquake stuff. That's what they're talking about. Every piece has been numbered. This, eh? this yeah. yeah, amazing. I guess they probably uh, maybe dug these up, you know, when they when they excavated the site. Because it doesn't. I don't think they all fell off. No, it no, looks no, like no, they've no. they've. Uh, look back here, the big snakes and. seven-headed snake. They're almost all identical. Maybe like one or two guys spent their whole life carving these. Who knows? They're all very similar. That one there is falling over. Uh, that the boot that you, the one you just took the picture? Yeah. Wong said we got up, they dropped down from the earthquake. Oh, yes, I see. oh you can see the them. Jetty, yes. They're all up here yes, on the... Yes, some still up there. You all see down the side. Some missing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's where they come from. Yeah. Look at, there's where those buses we saw. Remember we saw the buses? Right, Look at, <laughs> oh, we got here just in time. Yes, tomorrow make sure we go to another place first. We saw up six buses full of, look like university students. Well, we just did a live video on Facebook. <laughs> now we're back to YouTube. Boob tube. Yeah, see, there again, all the doors line right up, right? Perfectly lined up. From the 
architectural features and location, it is believed that this building was used for the king to prepare for the performance of religious ceremonies. It was also used by his encourage to prepare, I think they meant entourage, by his encourage to prepare offerings and other ceremonial items. This building was constructed in the 12th century AD. Let's go in and have a look. Wow, again, there's that doorway thing. How the doorways, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven doorways, right in a row. Is that ever cool? Flip and flip. The way the doors all line up. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Perfectly straight. Everything square. What? Oh. Walk around or go through. Let's go through. the last doorway. I don't know how many we walk through, but oh yeah, there's some pieces there too. Wow. I think I should just call this video wow because I've said wow about a hundred times in it. <laughs> you found that pretty funny, don't choke. <laughs> Choking my wow video. It would have been so cool to see this with the roof and the windows and just hub of activity. And that's it, eh, dear? Huh. Thanks for watching our video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our PMI Historical Park in Nakam Rashis. Nakam, not to see my. Google it if you want to come here. <laughs> I'm no historian. <laughs>